What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Throttle YouTube channel. My name is Quinn and today we're gonna to be working on our Honda S2000. We're gonna be replacing our spoon bumper with a stock AP2 bumper. We have a beautiful carbon fiber diffuser on it. We're gonna do that. We're gonna knock out some side skirts on the car because the AP2 bumper is a little bit lower and I think we need some side skirts to make it look really nice. We are gonna be debuting the S2000 at Fuel Fest. It's gonna be a huge event. There's gonna be thousands of people there, live music. We're gonna be giving away a set of wheels. It's gonna be a lot of fun and I want the car 100% done, 100% dialed in for that. Let's get into today's episode. Got our new bumper and a new set of side skirts here, and I've got Evan with me. I'm clocking in, dude. What are you wearing, dude? Oh, what is hold, that? Hold on. Oh, well, that's better. That's Check way better. Sheesh. Yeah, that's sick. We got our new parts here. Let's get these things on the car. Let's go. All right, so Quinn just got all of the rib nuts into the chassis. Now it's time to install the side skirt. So, ready to do this high? All right, so the side skirts are done. They look absolutely beautiful. Take a line from Quinn's playbook here. Now it's time to remove the spoon bumper so that we can put on the new OEM bumper. And we have something special planned for the OEM bumper that Ricky's gonna work on a little bit later. But for now, let's take the fuser off. And then I know there's some bolts here. And then is there anything up here? We don't know. I think there's just like retention clips. I think okay, it'll just, just like slide pop it off. off. So here it is. This thing is huge. This is an authentic spoon diffuser in carbon fiber. So it should bolt right up to the factory AP2 bumper. So we're gonna figure that out right now. Fabbed up our little Cusco tow hooks. We love having these around the shop. In fact, this was a spare that we bought just to have here in case we needed one. And it's kind of come in handy for this project. You know, put this in the factory location. What I like about these is they have a detent so you can lock them down. Oh, wrong way. They don't flop around, so you have to worry about scratching your bumper. And then when you need it, it actually stays in the up position. It's really cool. We put these on the Freak. I think we use these on the Evo 10. A few cars now, really like them. And so a little hack, you buy the FRS BRZ ones. They're fairly universal. And as long as you have a welder handy, you can just make up your own little threaded pitch that goes in. You use your factory one, cut it off, weld it to the back end of one of these, boom, any car. Our new bumper and diffuser are fully installed on the S2000 and we're gonna keep jamming on it. We need to do the first oil change on the new engine since we put it in the car and got it running. In order for me to do that, however, I do need to order an oil and filter, so let's go do that.
Before we order these parts, I wanna give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, PayPal Honey. The cool thing is Honey is now on throttle.com and we're gonna use it to get our oil and filter for the S2000 and get it here as soon as we can. Honey helps you save money on websites you're already shopping on by finding promo codes and applying them directly to your cart. Adding Honey is extremely easy and free. All you need to do is head over to joinhoney.com forward slash throttle. Click add extension to your browser and then click add extension again when the pop-up comes on and you have Honey installed. And now that you have Honey installed, it's gonna automatically prompt you for promo codes on most of the websites you're shopping on. Now let's get back into the S2000. Let it run for a minute. I wanted to get some oil pressure going through it. Wanted to get some temperature in the oil and get everything moving. It's gonna make the oil drain a lot nicer with a little bit of warmth in it. So let's change the filter, let's drain the oil, get it changed. Yeah, you like that? That's how you take one of those filters off without pouring oil everywhere. You just ah, crack it, expand it. Quinn, it drains, it, drains itself back to the sun. If anybody has an FRS or BRZ, you know that this is a very nice tip to have because your oil filter is right here on the FRS and I always go, gone. All over the motor, everywhere. Well, it's like a huge tongue. It's like, oh, you put the filter on that, it's gonna drain engine oil everywhere as soon as you take it off. If you crack it and let it sit there, you can actually see the oil kind of like doing its own thing, like just glugging, you know what I mean? Wow, I learned let something. It, let that. it sit there, let it sit there, do its thing. Let it do its thing for a minute. We'll take the filter off and we'll be messing with it. First oil change, dude. Oh, radio, radio engine, first one. runs amazing, first oil change. There you go, dude. No mess. Perfect. No mess. No run. No Zero mess. Everywhere. No drips. No oil everywhere. Crazy. So now we're going to change the oil since we got our filter changed. I wanted to talk to you guys about the drain on the turbo because that's actually our drain plug now. So as you know, this is the turbo oil drain and it's pretty much wound into our oil drain plug where the plug would be making this our new drain plug. But also there were a lot of comments about draining the turbo like this. And a lot of people were saying that it doesn't work and it's really bad for the turbo. And on some cases it can be. It depends on the engine engine, the turbo, the sizing of the lines, what kind of turbo it is. In this case, it works perfectly fine. The reason you wouldn't want to do this, or if you have the oil drain too low on some setups, like we had the oil drain too low on the Freak, it will actually backfeed oil back into the turbo and start spitting it out the oil seals and damage everything. It smokes a lot. It's not good for it. If you have the right turbo and it's high enough, then you can do this properly. So this is a Gen 2 GTX 2867R that came with a Grady turbo kit. It's a ball bearing turbo, so it doesn't need as much oil as a journal bearing would. And it's also very high up, so this drain works perfectly fine. Greddy has done a lot of work and a lot of testing to ensure this kit is proper, and it's a bolt-on kit, and this is a very good bolt-on solution. This means if you guys wanna buy this kit, you can actually buy the kit and just put it on your S2000. Like, we could have very easily welded on like a bung for the drain for the timing cover or the oil pan, but if you buy this kit and you have an S2000 and you can't pull your timing cover off to weld the bung, it makes it not a bolt-on kit. So this works very well for this application, and we're not gonna have any issues with the turbo smoking because they've done extensive testing over at Greddy. Let's get this whole drain. Hey Sean, What's up, Eric? how are you? Awesome, oh, this is a sick truck. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, see you. What's up? Hey, what's up? Thank you guys for coming to Fuel Fest. We are live from Fuel Fest right now. It just opened. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I gotta step away from that music. We've brought all of the cars out here today. We have the Supra, the Eclipse, the Freak, the Tesla Z even made it out. We've got the R32, the Viper. Get back boys! We got a Ricky and a Quinn here. The shop is completely empty right now. All the cars are here. Sick. So where are we going right now? We're gonna go out there. We're gonna go see the show. You guys wanna see that? Yeah, let's do it. So of course, Shahar brought out the entire Fast and the Furious oh, squad. The whole saga is here, bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's around here somewhere. I haven't seen him yet. I, I just, I ran into him. He brought 25 cars out here. <laughs> There's four of the high civics out here. There's a ton. Four of them. Hey, look at that shirt right there. Hey! You're on the vlog. I like it. What's up, man? What's Thanks up, for dude? coming out. Of course. Nice hey, look at that shirt. Hi. Hi. So in case you didn't know or you're not here, so Throttle is the presenting sponsor for Fuel Fest in Irwindale. It's a big deal for yeah, us. That's huge We've never deal. done anything like this. There's Throttle branding throughout Every, this entire facility. Everywhere. I haven't even seen the main stage, but apparently there's like huge signs. Yeah, so we haven't been up we're there. We're going yet. up on stage. I think this might be the first time <laughs> we're going. We're going up on stage. We don't really have a speech prepared, but uh, we're excited. I mean, the turnout is insane. They actually sold out the entire show. So they, you can't even buy tickets right now. This is yeah. the first out. time that Irwindale Fuel Fest has sold out. The yeah, first yeah. time ever. Yeah, that, awesome. that S2K is pretty cool. Yeah, I like, yeah. nice. like the hard time. Excuse me, sir. What's up, dude? What's up, big How dogs? How up, we doing, baby? Oh, What's going on? What's cracking? How you doing, bro? Look at your fro, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, check out this line out here. This might be the, the longest line I've ever seen. I don't seen think I've ever been life. in a line this long in here. No, that's crazy. <laughs> so check this out. There's like Holy a breakup line of crap. cars still coming in. That is insane. All right, so hopefully you guys can hear us. We were just talking. That is probably the craziest line I've out of any yeah. event that we've gone to in the I've past five years. Like so yeah, what a what a great event to be at. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sheesh. Super stoked. So if you did make it out to Fuel Fest, maybe you're in the vlog, maybe you're not, but we really do appreciate you guys showing up, showing us some support. It means a lot to us. So let's get back inside, and then we're gonna get on stage here real soon. Nice. Guys, you doing? Cars. What do you got here, bro? What's up, bro? I got my 64 Impala. 64 Impala? Let me see this thing. Oh! <laughs> Look at these boys right here. Oh, yeah. 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 No more. Turn around. Let me see. Yeah. We are gonna go talk about possibly doing another Fast and Furious car. Okay. Hey, hey, there's like 37 of them. Oh, Integra! Yeah, we should do. Ja Rule's Integra. I have mad ideas for Integra right That'd be a good one. Yeah, that would be a good one. So you guys know Shahar, he brought like 30 cars to this event. It's a huge event, absolutely insane. He was telling us how much effort. Bro, They've been so planning we, it for months to get all I these cars I talked to him here. and he said that he brought about 36 cars and four of them, <laughs> Four other ones didn't make it. So crazy. So it should have been like four. So crazy. Oh, insane. So to start, we have all of the heist civics. All four of them. And I know for a fact they have the green underglow light. Oh, do they actually? Yes, they do. Yeah, the body kits are sick. Yeah, everything's spot on. Wheels. They even got the helmets on the top. I know. So That's cool. so cool. Oh, the Maxima's here. I was thinking we'd do the Maxima, except, Bro. except, yeah. we use an R33 sedan. 
Skyline. R33 sedan, will that be the same though? It would look mm. the same because the sedans look like, yeah. kind of look like yeah. Maximus. They do. I'm down for that. The no. man yeah, of the hour is here. I'm sorry, uh, is this my good side? <laughs> that is your good. They all, they're both your good side. Right. So a question, what if we did a Maxima using an R33 sedan? Damn. How would that make you feel? That's interesting. Like a tree view. Ooh. Version, right? So it would like Viper Blue and both yeah. mirrors and. So it wouldn't be a Maxima though, that's the thing. It'd be a Skyline. So would, would that be like a bad thing or a good thing? Everything is a good like thing. Every, every, every tribute you're doing, you know, yeah. it brings something <laughs> and I think why not take a badass car like an R33 sedan with like an RB25 in it or something right. instead of like, you know, a daily driver. Right. But that would be cool. If you can do the reverse hood and everything. I mean, do you know how to work on cars a little bit? Do you I, know, think, I think I know my way around tools. Like I think that. so, I, mean, I think I'm, so. I'm just asking, I don't know. I think, so. you know? I think we can figure it I out. Think it, I think it will be soft, it will be sick. That. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Do it. We're gonna go check do out. It. We're gonna go check out the rest of all the cars here because there are a lot. You guys, you guys put together a huge, huge undertaking to get all these cars here. It's awesome. Basically, the way we we laid it out is that we have in the front the four-way uh, street race. Mm -hmm. So first movie, first racing. Yes. We have the yes. Ryan against. Oh Evan. wow! I didn't yes. even notice they were running against that. Danny That's sick. against Toretto. So yeah. that was the whole point. And then you have the Supra and the Charger, which is the iconic race. Yep. And then you have the rest of the crew from Fast One. So the first scene after that, they went to the Toretto's market. They had like the 33, the Jetta, and the Maxima. And they had a 240SX that we don't have, right. but that's the Mia's Integra. This is like the Fast One crew. And then over there, we have the, the Lightning and the High Civics yeah. all together. And then we try to do second movie. So you have the Too Fast, Too Furious Camaro. Yes. This is an R32 instead of four, but right. uh, he's done We'll, we'll get there soon. We'll, yeah, get, we'll, we'll get there. We'll this get year, there. we'll get there. We'll, we'll get, get there. there. I'll yeah. try to get there before you, but we'll, <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. But he did a nice tribute on it. Suki's car is And here. then you have Suki. This is my buddy Gabriel. Yeah. He drove it from Florida. Basically, uh, I mean, well, not yeah. today, but have to bring it here. Yeah. No, I have not. That's, that's going to be a fun one. Okay. He, was, he was like, what if at the end of Fast One, Toretto took the Supra from Brian and drove off? What did he do with it? Gotcha. Toretto that likes red. Now. Correct. So he painted it red and did the, the Toretto graphics that's on the RX-7. No. <laughs> but it's the same body kit that's on the, the orange one. Okay, I, I have to see yeah, this. Yeah, we have so to this see this. is kind of cool. And then we have the blue Porsche from Fast Five. This is actually a screen used car. Really? Yeah. Wow. Didn't yeah. know that. That's amazing. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. And then we have uh, Paul's Right. The, the white Supra the from uh, the last movie the last he was in. Right. You gotta show us your car now again. Oh, this is oh, the old, this is the old. Old. Yeah. yeah, returning. Returning to a throttle vlog. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Right. So maybe we do something like that. Maybe we cross mash liveries. Cross mash livery, oh, bro. Yeah. That's an amazing say. idea. I say we do an Integra, what we talked about earlier. Okay. What do you think about a GSR uh -huh. all wheel drive? Dude, I would be, I'd be cool. I'd, I'd, I'd be, be cool down. Right? That'd That'd be like, sick. With a K, K swap, K right? Swap. A K, K swap, swap all wheel drive. drive, four or five hundred horsepower. Dude. And you guys let us know in the comments below what we should do. <laughs> what next Fast and Furious car we should do. So that about does it for Fuel Fest 2023 here in Irwindale, California. That was absolutely crazy. That was by far the craziest event we have ever participated in. And I can't thank you guys enough. For those of you who did make it out to the show, thank you so much. And it was just amazing to see all the great feedback on all the cars we brought out. We literally brought out everything. And then I do want to say that the S2000 is now officially done. For those who are interested, every dollar you spend on our website, whether you're buying car parts or merchandise, 
this is gonna give you an automatic entry to win. And now, the winner has the choice between the OEM AP2 rear bumper with the spoon carbon fiber diffuser or that spoon rear bumper that some people may or may not care for. So the choice is yours. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.